Hi, and welcome to Accelerize Presents. I'm Pete Guayarello, and joining me today is Dave Sikorak. Today we're going to present a tour of the Microsoft System Center Service Management Console. This is part one of a series of ten, and this clip is going to cover the basic components and navigation of the user interface. You can learn more about service manager implementation and training at Accelerate.com. Welcome, Dave. Hey, thanks, Pete. Let's get right into the interface. So when you um, fire up the uh, Service Manager console, this is what you're going to see out of the gate. You'll see a default getting started pane here. Everything that's in here um, you can find in these workspaces um, uh, to the left here, each of these workspaces. Um, but it's just conveniently organized for uh, when you're, well, getting started. So over here on the left, we see the navigation pane. And here we see the, and, and, and these things on the bottom are called wonder bars. And these wonder bars, um, when you click on them, they reveal the associated workspace. So we're on the administration workspace, uh, wonder bar, we clicked on that. And then here is that navigation pane. In the center, you see the view. That's so if we click on announcements, we see an announcement in the center. And below it, we'll see details. It's not shown in this uh, view, but generally you'll have some sort of form up top, which is your view, and down the bottom will be the details for that form. On the right, you have the task pane. So let's, let's just hit that one more time in a little more detail. Um, up top, you'll see uh, here the main menu, right? File, view, go, tools, task, help, uh, followed by the search bar here. Um, the breadcrumb bar, that shows you where you are in the navigation, right? And um, as we said, over here on the left-hand side, this is the navigation uh, pane. And you have that above the, the wonder bars that are located here. Um, this is the uh, view. You see we're looking at software deployment. And then these are the details down here for software deployment. Over here is the task pane. So you can disable a, a, a workflow. You can enable the workflow. You can refresh. You know, that's what you can do. The tasks. You know, generally the tasks you can do on the thing that's chosen over here um, that's displayed in the center with the details down the bottom. So that's the whole deal. Sometimes you'll see on certain views tabs, um, but that's the general gist of the, the user interface. Um, if we go here and look at the top main menu, it's what you expect. File just has exit, so we're not going to show you that. <laughs> so what you can do there. And then uh, view, you see takes you to the different things, the navigation main task. You can, you can display and display things, the status bar. Etc. The status bar down the bottom here shows you which uh, service management manager server you're connected to. Um, so that's that. And then we'll look at um, the next menu, which is the search menu. And what's cool about it is you can just type a search up here in the search panel. But you can also click this button here, and it will drop down a filter. So these filters will go, so if you want to search specifically for incidents or problems or specific kinds of computers or work items, work, work items are things like incidents, problems, changes, you can do that uh, quickly with that uh, uh, search bar. So again, over here on the left hand side, uh, you'll see we have um, a, uh, we're in the administration pane, we have clicked on the deleted items item, and here we see the view of that, the items there and, and the details. So we're looking at the Contoso item, and here's the details down there. And here's the stuff that we can do with it over here on the right-hand side in the task <clears throat> uh, You also, in the task pane, you can see that we can, uh, for this particular thing, you can see that relative to this Contoso item, we could create a change request, create an incident, but we can also remove it or restore it. We're actually in the in the deleted items pane, which is kind of like a, a, a recycle bin for configuration items. More on that later. OK. That is all I'm going to cover for this, other than the status bar here you'll see. That's just shows you who we're connected to. <clears throat> OK, thanks. And remember, you can learn more at Accelerez.com.